Today we're going to be covering how you could add health bars to your project. We're building from an example of health bars that were initially created by Liquid Metal and uh, we're going to be using his example in our project. Just to give you a quick overview of what a health bar can look like, if you wanted to have your player uh, have a health bar that slowly moved down. You can see that it's as the health, the health is going down to zero, it becomes more and more red until it's all the way totally red at zero. And you could have a boss health bar as well that uh, it could be a little bit larger that represents more health. So uh, how do we add this into our own project? Well, there's we're going to be covering two tutorials. One is the health bars tutorial which is a copy of the project from Liquid Metal. And the other tutorial we're going to be looking at is, um, let me find it real quick. Is uh, the level three project adding health bars to your project. So you can see here as our uh, Sprite is getting hit by beams, laser beams, its health is slowly going down. And when its health reaches zero, our, our uh, Sprite is going to disappear. So how do we build this? Well, to build this, let's first start from the, the other project. We want to start from uh, the project we copied from Liquid Metal. and that project is level 3 health bars. You're going to want to click to see inside the project and then uh, what we want to do is open up the backpack so it's on the bottom bar here. Um, you don't have to delete the, your existing scripts if you have them there I'm just deleting them to clean it up a little bit and you could grab the health bar click on it and drag it and drop it inside of your backpack. Now this health bar will become available to the next project that we create. So let's go ahead and create a new project. You can see here when we open up our, our backpack, our, our health bar is here. So we can go ahead and drag the, this, the health bar from your backpack into your project. Now you can see here the health bar is a little small, um, so we're probably going to want to make that a little bit bigger. So um, let's go ahead and uh, make that larger. And um, one minute. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit larger so we can click on the health bar sprite, go to looks. Now let's change the size. Let's see how that looks. That's a little bit better. Maybe let's set it to 200%. It's pretty big. And um, now what we want to do is we want to we want to try moving the the health down. Say for example, as this uh, as our player is getting hit. So um, let's add a new sprite. And let's let's get a put in a little laser beam. So what could we use as a beam? Let's see. That looks like a good laser beam right there. We could use the paddle. So um, we can go ahead and add a start event. And in the beginning, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to hide the paddle. And um, we're going to go ahead and create a clone of the paddle. So each time that each time this paddle gets shot across the screen, it's going to look like a little laser beam. And uh, it's just going to we're going to create a new copy of the laser beam each time. So when we start as a clone, let's go ahead and start at a specific place. And um, 
show it as well. So now when we click here, we'll see the beam show up. That's good, um, but we want it to actually move towards the player. So let's add a little forever loop here. Let's give us a little bit more descriptive name. So we're going to point towards the player, and we're going to slowly move towards the player. That's good, except it's a little bit weird. It's not what we want. We want it to actually hit the player and kind of bring our health down. Um, so what we're going to want to do there is add an if. Let's do a touching player. Then let's, let's send out a message to the player so that the player could um, move its health down. And let's uh, add a little cool effect so when we actually do hit the player, we're going to change the color of our laser beam a little bit. So we're, we're going to make it look like it's hitting something. And then um, if... Let's see, let's see what it looks like now. That's pretty good, uh, except what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to have this laser beam disappear uh, after it hits the player. So let's go ahead and do that. So what delete this clone will do is once the laser beam hits the player, it'll disappear. That's pretty good. Um, except uh, we're only shooting one laser beam and then it's disappearing. We want to be able to shoot more than one laser beam. So uh, we're going to have to have some way of knowing uh, how much health is left on the player to know whether or not we should shoot another laser. So um, let's go ahead and uh, add some health. Now there's two variables available already called health and max health that are part of the health bar. Um, but what we really want to do is make this a global variable that's available uh, to all the sprites. So right now these are local variables. So let's go ahead instead and make a global variable and we're going to call it player health. we're going to call it player max health. And uh, we'll go ahead and replace the existing health names with player health. And max health with player max health. Now we'll see here that the player health variable is still av is now available, so we can look at that. So if so, let's say if player health is greater than zero, that means that our player is still alive. Then we're going to want to shoot another laser beam. So the best way to shoot another laser beam is simply create another laser. So we're going to create a clone of ourselves here. So let's see what happens. Okay, for some reason player health is not greater than zero. Oh, there we can see here player health and player max health are both starting at a number larger than zero. So what we have to do is we have to set our player health and our player max health to something bigger. So um, 
in our in our start event, we're going to go ahead and set player max health to 10. Player health to 10. Now let's see what happens. So that's good. Now we're shooting out a beam of light every single time um, and until the health goes to zero. But uh, the problem is right now is we're not reducing the health. So we're hitting this player, um, but we're not actually reducing the health. So we have to do that next. So what we're going to say is if player health is greater than zero when our player gets hit, we want to reduce player the health by one. So change player health by negative one. And then um, I don't think we need an else here. So we could actually do So now every time the player gets hit, um, it'll reduce the health by one. Let's take a look at that. Oh, you can see I made a mistake. I'm changing player max health instead of playing player health. So let's take a look and try this again with player health. Oh, that looks better. Now every time that our, our little cat player is getting hit, its health is going down. Now the next thing we want to do is, if the health goes to zero, let's uh, have him say ouch. So if player health goes to zero, and we're also going to want to hide this player if its health goes to zero as well kind of make it look like the player um, has been defeated uh, and then we're gonna let's add a let's add a little sound too So what would be a good sound for our player getting defeated? Let's see here. How about plunge? So now when we run the program, we'll see the health slowly go down. And we should see our, our player get defeated. Oh, there he goes, he's disappeared. Now if we want to, we could add a few, uh, a few other cool little effects. Um, but uh, we can see here now when we rerun the program, the cat's gone. So uh, we need to make sure that we show the cat when we first start the, start the program. And uh, let's go ahead and um, add another little effect called the ghost effect. And what a ghost effect will do is it'll make uh, the player get kind of gets uh, make it disappear more and more the more the player gets hurt. So let's go ahead and do that. Now a ghost effect is from zero to a hundred. So what we'll, what we're going to do here is we're going uh, to change the, the effect by 100 divided by player max health. So we'll have it change in steady intervals. Let's get it, take a look and see how that goes. That's pretty cool. Um, so now we're, we've got a health bar going. We've got uh, 
some the laser beam changing color. We got the player disappearing, but we don't really have a laser beam sound. Um, so let's go ahead and add a laser beam sound just to have it sound kind of cool when it shoots first shoot out. There you go, we've added help bars to a project. Please let me know if you have any questions.